Hey everyone, it's Matt with Bardic Inspiration, and I know that on Fridays we normally post a music video, but both Michael and I have been sick for the better part of two weeks. That's the nice part of living in Ohio, because it'll go from 73 degrees one day to 32 the next, with snow, and then I get really sick with a cold. You might be able to tell that my throat is bothering me a little bit, but I will power through just for you. We do plan to get right back to our regular schedule next week, but in the meantime, I've painted a new trio of miniatures. My D&D group has recently started the Curse of Strahd campaign, so I decided to pick up a couple vampire miniatures from the Nolzer's Unpainted Collection and paint them up so we can use them in the game. The third mini is possibly my favorite Nolzer mini that I've found so far. It's a super unique looking model, but I am hands down a simp for clear plastic magic effects. Now, because of the clear plastic bits, I didn't coat that model with my black spray primer, but I did coat the vampires with black. The vampire models have to fit into the grimdark setting of Barovia, so I wanted them to come out a little darker. After the dry brushing, it was time for an onslaught of contrast paints. Now, I'm gonna let the painting montage just roll because it's about time for me to put in another cough drop and it's gonna be significantly harder for me to talk with one of those in my mouth. Um, phrasing? So sit back and relax because that's how painting should be done anyway. So before the big reveal, I wanted to say how much I appreciate you for getting this far in the video. 
while you're here, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down at the bottom so that YouTube knows that you enjoyed this video. It also helps small channels like us out tremendously. And if you've seen us before, consider subscribing so that way you never miss another video. And because, well, it's free. I tried to paint these vampires similarly, but I did give them one distinct difference involving the sleeves. One mini has brown sleeves while the other mini has gray sleeves. The gray is nearly identical to the skin tone of the miniature, and the more that I look at it, I honestly think I'm just gonna add some brown to it. The minis came out super dark, just like I wanted them, and this is due to a couple different things. First, that initial undercoat of black in conjunction with the contrast paints, and then second, the usage of a black wash over 90% of the model. A lot of people call shade colors talent in a bottle, but you should be careful while using a shade or a wash because it's really easy to overdo it. It's a fine line that I think I came really close to on these models, but overall I'm happy about it. The last model I do love because I could let it be as bright as I wanted. I decided to make the robes white after initially wanting them to be blue like his cape and I think I made the right decision because the separation of the three main colors on the model are very distinguishable and I think that it helps the mini stand out more. I'm also happy with the way the skin tone came out because the last time I tried a dark skin tone it did not go well. Overall I can tell that I'm improving. These minis took me about an hour to complete altogether, and the only thing I dislike is a choice that I made and not a mistake. The next time I paint, you'll see Archon the Cruel and his Black Order, another trio of miniatures that I've had for a really long time, and I'm so excited to paint. I am going to be switching gears a little bit for those models. The last few videos have been about speed and trying to find a balance between time and quality. But now I think it is time for me to put my skills back to the test and compare myself to the last time I spent hours working on a single miniature. Let me know what you guys think of today's video down in the comments. I am terribly excited to get started on the Black Order, but until then, everybody, be good to each other.